In this presentation, we're going to look at the R commands, rank and order. And we're going to use these for a vector. Just as a remark, just to start off, this has nothing to do with linear algebra, this command. So uh, people are familiar with matrices and linear algebra and the rank of a matrix. This has nothing to do with that. So rank and order of a vector. So first off, let's look at rank. This returns the relative ranking for each value in the vector. So the minimum value corresponds to 1, the next lowest value corresponds to 2, and so on. So let's bring up R there. Here's our little uh, vector there. Uh, we have uh, 8 values. The minimum of that is a 12, and that's in position 5. The maximum is 91, and that is in position 3. Okay, so that's just a quick familiarization with our um, data set there. So uh, the rank will return the relative uh, rankings of the uh, each value, with 1 being the lowest value. So here we have 1, that's in position five, uh, 5, as mentioned previously, that corresponds to 12. So this is the third lowest, second lowest, eighth lowest, in this case this will be the highest, and so on. Uh, fifth lowest, lowest, and so on. So I think you get the idea there. So uh, that is how the rank function or, uh, operates. So uh, what we'll look now, uh, what we'll do now is we will look at the order function. So this returns the sequence of locations, i.e. the indices, of the lowest value, the next lowest value, and so on. So the first item in the output is the index, the location of the lowest value. The second item is the index of the next lowest value, and so on. Let's bring back R. So order of x. So what we have here is this tells us where the lowest value is to be found. This is where the next lowest value is to be found and so on. This is the third lowest value and so on. So the highest value in this data set is to be found in position 3 which is 91. So that is the rank uh, and function and order function. They take a while to get used to uh, but they're quite handy once you uh, get the hang of them. So sort x, that's another command that will be conventionally used in conjunction with stuff like this. Uh, sort them into ascending order and also you can have reverse the order and you can actually use them in conjunction, those two commands. I just uh, made mention of those there just because they will be commonly used in conjunction with rank and order. Okay, that ends our presentation.